all welcome back this is Meghnath in this module we will learn how to create HTML tables now let's get started now suppose I want to create a table like this in the browser so I want to display like this so this hard this is a table and this horizontal ones are called as rows this is one row this is one row and this is one row and this each cell is called each, each small one is a cell here so this is a table this is a row and the vertical ones are columns and each cell we call it as table cell the small one is a table cell now how to write HTML code for displaying this table is let's see this now first we have to put a table tag and we have to close this table tag and for each row we have to add for each row we have to add tr and closing tr so for second row we have to add tr tag closing tr tag for third row we have to add tr tag and closing tr tag and then for each cell you have to put td tag so each cell you have to put td tag so that's how you have to create a table i repeat first you have to put table tag and then for each row you have to put tr tag and three TR tags because we have three TR rows and each cell you have to put one TD tag here okay so now let's do this in in HTML file and let's see how it looks like in the browser right let's get started so what I'll do is I'll be creating um, I'll be opening Visual Studio Code let me open Visual Studio Code and I will be creating a new file so let me close this so I'll be creating a new file file new file and I will save it control s and I'm saving it in the same folder I'll give this as HTML files and I will write here as table example now what I have to do here as usual HTML is a root tag and head section we will have and then we will have body tag the first thing that I have to do is as my explanation before I have to do table and inside I have to put three TR tags inside each TR if I see the requirement now I had something like this so I had here something like this right so now this is the requirement of the table now for each TR we have to put TD and the value here and close the TD TD value here close the TD now what I'll do is inside this I have to put three TD tags now let's put TD and closing TD and again TD and again one more TD so three cells we have inside each row so let me copy this so I'll do right click on this copy and control V control V now we are done with adding table tag adding TR tag and inside this TR we'll just make it properly aligned so that that's for each row and this is for the second row and this is for the third row we have done now what we'll do here we need to put the values here so let's put here five some values I'm putting randomly five six and inside TD here so I'll put here nine and TD inside TD I'm putting here uh, three and here I'll put four and here I'll put one and here I'm putting here two and I'll be putting here seven I'll be putting here nine okay so now I have added table I have added TR tags for each cell I have added TD tags and I put the data inside it let's see how it looks like in the browser so let's go to the folder and HTML I have here uh, my HTML files and this is the one that I created right now table example right click on this open with Google Chrome now you can see here the table is looking as if we don't have any border for it I just zoomed it so we don't have a border for it now what you have to do if you want to see the border so go to HTML file and write here table border equal to one. Now I just added border equal to one. Let's see how it looks like. Now if you see here, it's looking like two lines here. So here, if you see, border is looking like two cells, two lines. So I don't want these two lines. So in HTML, the distance between the cell, the distance between the two cells is called cell spacing. So this is called total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine cells we have 
the distance between each cell adjacent cell is called cell spacing now I need to remove the space between the cells so that the border looks like one border so I have to put cell spacing 0 now I'll just go here that's the attribute I have to add cell spacing is equal to 0 now I just added cell spacing 0 let's go and see how it looks like you can see here it's looking like a single border and that's what I needed but still the table looks like compressed from these sides right so the table looks like someone has compressed from these sides so we don't want to see like this so the distance between the text and the border you have to increase the distance between the text and the border of the cell is called cell padding now what I'll do here I just want to increase the space there so now I'll write here C E L L P A D D I N G cell padding equal to let's put here 5 so I'll just save it let's go to the browser and refresh it I can see here there is some gap if I still want to increase it so I'll put here let's take 8 or 10 so that's cell padding now let me go back and refresh it you can see it's looking more of a better table now I repeat once again so this the distance between the two cell and the border of the text text and the border of the cell we call it as cell padding and the distance between two adjacent cells is called cell spacing as of now there is no space and that's why zero we have given that's what you're seeing okay now now sometimes you will have requirement like this now how we have let's take let me open snipping tool and I just change the requirement now see here now I just open snipping tool so take uh, let me open this snipping tool and I'll just copy this edit copy and let me open MS Paint now sometimes you'll get a requirement like this so where you'll find two cells might have got merged here now let's take I just going to delete this and here let me put using eraser I'll just make it um, make it just look like as if it's a single line so I just put it here yeah now let me make it more proper done now I want to merge these here so let me let me put here and let me try to merge it here delete and again take eraser here and I'll just put it here something like this okay we done now what I'll do is I need some value here called um, let me put something called here I'll just increase the font size I'll try to increase the font size here so I'll just pu put here something called data and I want to put some text to your data and here I want to put here something called amount okay so or I'll just put here bill okay that's fine so now here if you see now we have some columns merged here so if you see previously there are two columns here and these two columns got merged and if you see here there are two rows here in this and these two rows got merged now how to create a table of this type now my requirement is I want to create like this in HTML so what we have to do is assume that there is one uh, assume so here put dotted lines assuming that all uh, all the rows and columns are there as it is before now now for this when you're creating first row put TD for this and for this TD it's occupying two columns so you have to put call span 2 when you're writing TD for this just mention call span 2 so that it's going to occupy another column and you don't have to put this TD I repeat if it is a proper like this we would have mentioned TD here TD here and TD here but now since this cell is going to occupy two columns we will put TD here and for this TD we will tell it's going to occupy two columns and we are not going to put the third TD because we are telling here that this is going to occupy two columns now similarly so we're done with the first row when you're doing second row here put TD for this and for this TD since it's occupying this occupying the two rows here so put row span 2 and close the TD and put this TD as well but when you're doing this 
put td for this and for this one you don't have to put because in the previous row itself you are going to, you told that this cell is going to occupy two rows so you don't have to put td for this and for this one you have to put td i hope the explanation is clear now let's try to do this in the html code let's see this go back to this now first i'll put td5 as it is and the second td i have to tell that it's going to take two columns call span 2 and remove the third td so td is there and for this i'll be adding here call span call span 2 i'm telling that this is going to occupy two columns and i have to put here instead of 6 i have to put here data now I have to remove the third TD because I told my previous TD itself is going to take two columns. I don't want the third TD. So total effectively have three TDs. Now coming to second TR, first one three is fine. And second one is going to occupy two rows and I have to add data as bill. So here I have to write row span is equal to two and I have to put here B-I-L-L, bill. Now if now the third TD I have to put one that's fine now coming to third row coming to third row what we have to do is first TD is two I have to leave as it is but the second TD I told in my previous row itself it's going to occupy the next row so what I have to do is I have to delete this TD which is there so I don't need this TD because the previous row I'm telling that it's going to occupy and the last one I just put nine reminds as it is now let's see how it looks like in the browser. Let's save it. Let's go to the browser and right click on this. Open with Google Chrome. I can see here it's looking as it is. Now I hope you're clear with how to create HTML tables. I hope you're clear with HTML row span and call span and cell padding, cell spacing. And that's all for now. I hope this is clear. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.